Good morning, PK Scholars and families. It's Miss Hoffman back again for another fun Friday read aloud. Are you guys ready? On this fun Friday, we are going to read one of my favorite characters and one of my favorite books. Does anybody know who this guy is? That's right, it's Pete the Cat. I'm so excited. Pete is one of my favorites because he always shows me how to get through difficult things. So today, we re we're going to read Pete the Cat and the New Guy. And in this story, Pete is going to show us how to be a good friend. And then after we read the story, we're going to talk about you and your friends, all right? In the middle of our story while we're reading, I want you to pay attention to some of our vocabulary words, okay? So today our vocabulary words are going to be friend, juggle, and shy. And for Miss Hoffman and Miss Bobby's, you guys can see, friends is Miss Hoffman, Miss Welton, Miss Welton, and Miss Bobby, because we all work together and we're all friends. All right, are you guys ready to read our story and find out how Pete is a good friend? All right, Pete the Cat and the New Guy by Kimberly and Jane Steen. It was Sunday, and Pete's friends had come to play. They were rocking to a new song when, beep, 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 there was a noise coming from across the street. I wonder what that noise could be. Wise old owl had a view from his tree. Pete said, hey owl, what do you see? Owl said, all I see are green shoes and a red hat. Pete answered, sounds like my kind of cat. Pete could not imagine who this new guy could be. I really hope it's a new friend for me. A friend is someone that you like and enjoy spending time with. Say friends. Pete hopes that he can make a new friend. Tell your mom or dad, whoever's sitting with you, listening to your story, who is one of your friends? On Monday, Pete wanted to say hi, but he was feeling kind of shy. So he just rode by and by and by and by until finally Pete got to meet the new guy. I heard another one of our vocab words, shy. Shy means that you're a little scared and a little nervous. So some of you might hide. Um, a lot of you on the first day of school when you guys came to school and met Miss Hoffman, Miss Bobby, or whoever your teacher is, some of you may have hid behind your mommy's and daddy's legs. You may have only given us like a little bit of an eye, not too sure about us because we were new, right? You had never met us before, so sometimes you may have been feeling a little bit scared or nervous or shy. Pete said, I've never met anyone quite like you. You seem like a duck and like a beaver too. The new guy said to Pete, Hi, my name is Gus. Glad to meet you. I'm a platypus. Pete said, You're not like me and I am not like you. But I think being different is really very cool. On Tuesday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. They came to Squirrel, who was playing in a tree. Hi, Gus, said Squirrel. Climbing is easy. Try and see. Gus gave the tree a try, but the branch was way too high. I wish I could climb like you, but climbing is something I just can't do. Oh man, so each of us have special talents. Can Gus climb the tree like Squirrel? No. Is that okay? Of course. They can still be friends even though they're not good at the same thing. Pete said, don't be sad, don't be blue. There is something everyone can do. Let's see how Pete is going to solve the problem. 
On Wednesday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. They came to Pete's friend, Grumpy Toad, who said, Come play a leapfrog with me. Jumping is easy. Try and see. Gus jumped and leaped, but he couldn't get over Toad or Pete. I wish I could jump like you, but jumping is just something I can't do. Oh, man. Pete said, don't be sad, don't be blue. There is something everyone can do. On Thursday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. Soon they saw Octopus, who said, come juggle with me. Juggling is easy, try and see. I wish I could juggle just like you, but juggling is something I just can't do. Octopus is juggling or keeping many balls in the air by throwing and catching quickly. Just like Gus, I can't juggle and it's okay. Pete said, don't be sad, don't be blue. There is something everyone can do. On Friday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. Gus said, I can't juggle or jump or climb a tree. It's no fun around here for me. <gasps> oh no, look at Gus's face. How do you think Gus feels? I heard somebody say that he feels sad. Why do you think he feels sad? I think Gus feels sad because he can't do the things that his friends can do. So he might be sad or um, and feel kind of alone, right? Because if his friends can play all of these different games and he can't. Hmm. Let's see. I wonder if Pete will have a solution for us. On Saturday, Pete hoped Gus would come out to play. I wish Gus, and Gus wasn't sad. I wish Gus wasn't blue. I wish there was something that we could do. Just then, Pete heard a groovy sound. It was coming from across the street. Gus was rocking to his own beat. Sweet! Ooh, what is Gus doing? <gasps> Pete said, check out Gus the platypus. He found something cool he can do with us. <gasps> He's playing the drums. Gus can't climb or jump or juggle, but he can play the drums. Remember, we all have something cool that we can do. And look, now they can all play music together. Let's see, our friend Gus is playing the drums. Pete is playing the guitar. Alligator is playing the saxophone. Grumpy Toad is playing a guitar. Octopus is playing the piano. Uh, I see Turtle singing. Squirrel's playing on the tambourine. And I think Owl, looks like Owl is just enjoying the show, and that's good too, right? That's okay. So, all of Pete's friends <gasps> made a song. He's not sad, he's not blue, Gus found something that everyone can do. How cool. The end. Did you guys like that story? I love Pete. Pete is always one of my favorite guys to, to read. He always makes me happy and feel better. So I want you guys to think about who one of your friends is and what you guys like to do. Maybe some you guys like to do something different. Maybe you guys are better at something. My very best friend back at home, Melanie, we used to dance together when we were really young. Um, my kid, my students have seen pictures of Melanie and I when we were four years old dancing. And 
so we used to dance together, but then as we grew up, Melanie, when she was in high school, she would dance for the, uh, for the band, and Miss Hoffman, I started, I stopped dancing, and I started playing basketball. So, we still are really good friends today, but we don't necessarily do the same thing, and that's okay, because we both have different talents and different interests, but then when we come together, we can still be really good friends and talk about what we used to do together and what we're doing now. So, I want you guys to talk about being your friends and what you guys like to do. And if you want, I found and I heard that Pete the Cat is taking letters. So, if you want, you can send Pete the Cat a picture or write him a letter about how much you love his books or how you are a good friend. So I'm going to leave this address up here if you would like to send Pete the Cat a letter. Pete the Cat, his address is 2126 East Victory Drive, apartment 112 in Savannah, Georgia, zip code 31. Four zero four. I think Pete would really love to hear your stories about how you guys are good friends. I hope you guys enjoyed our week of read aloud and I hope you guys have a great weekend and we'll see you next week for another week of virtual learning. Bye guys!